Hey everyone, this is Sal Congeloso from Geek.com. I'm here at the Olympus EPL3. Uh, this is a new Micro Four Thirds camera from Olympus. Obviously, it's part of the Pen line. It uh, came out with two other cameras, or about the same time as two other cameras. The uh, there's the Big Brother, the EP3, which we looked at earlier. That sells for, I believe, $8.99 for the kit. This is the EPL3. It's $6.99. And then on the way is the sort of the little brother, and that's the EPM1. They uh, all are Micro Four Thirds cameras. It just has to do with what features each one of the cameras have. And then uh, from the EP3 is a little bit bigger than the EPL3, and then the EPM1 is the smallest of the bunch. So uh, let's take a quick look at this camera. Uh, all the specs are available online. I just want to do a quick look at the hardware. It's uh, Actually, let's go through the specs really quick, just so you have some background. It's a 12.3 megapixel camera. It has the TruePic 6 image processor, which is new, so for uh, better color reproduction and stuff like that. It has the uh, super fast autofocus, what uh, Olympus is calling the, the fastest in class, or the world's fastest autofocus. Uh, that was a big hit with the EP3. Uh, five FPS sequential shooting, Continuous AF tracking, facial recognition, improved lenses with the MSC lenses, uh, 1080p video, all new art filters, uh, stuff like that. You know, a lot of the uh, stuff we saw with the uh, the EP3. This, uh, the, what they do with this body is that it's uh, a little bit slimmer. I don't have the EP3 to show you, but the body is a little bit slimmer, a little smaller, and then you have the the LCD, it can tilt, it could pop out. So obviously that's the standard position. It could go out, down, up to about 90 degrees, out like this, and uh, well, that's about it. It uh, it doesn't go out, it doesn't flip out the way, uh, say the Canon D60, not the D60, the 60D rather, does, but you do get some motion. This is not available. On the uh, on the EP3, that has the uh, OLED sensor, the three-inch OLED, and it is uh, fixed. Looking around at the other features, we see uh, the hot shoe with the accessory port, uh, some basic controls, top dial, trigger, a little bit different power, one rear dial with the grip, menu button, uh, no optional grip on the front, but you do have. This metallic body, which is nice. It uh, sort of has a brushed look to it. I, I believe it's all plastic, but it does look brushed. Anyway, it feels nice. It's a good looking camera. This has the silver lens. This is the 14 through 42 millimeter kit lens that we've seen before. It's the newest variety, just like uh, what you would get on the, uh, on the EP, EP3. These, uh, these names are really confusing. Uh, like I said, you get the fancy art centers, sensors, uh, Jesus, the fancy art filters. And then uh, I think that about covers it. There's a lot of other new things, but let's just focus on the hardware and what this thing looks like. It's, a, uh, it's definitely a handsome camera. It's a nice size. So then if you get the uh, some of the smaller lenses, the 17 millimeter, say, uh, you can get a really trimmed down camera. Anyway, yeah, I just wanted to do a quick look at it. I haven't really played with it, just got in a few days ago. This is the Olympus Pen EPL3. It's, uh, it's a nice camera so far. I think people will like it and it's a little bit cheaper uh, than some of the other device, some of the, uh, the pens have been in the past. It's hard to tell just how fast this thing is, but there's very little delay on the autofocus there. Uh. So yeah, good looking camera. Still testing it out. Check back for more video. If you have any. If you have any questions or uh, anything you want to hear about it or anything you want me to film or 
post, uh, like obviously I can post a video from this. If you want to see any art fills, just uh, leave a comment. I'll try to get back to you. This is Sal from geek.com. Thanks for watching.